Alright guys, welcome to today's video, and today, yes, you, you heard it here first, or you, uh, read the title of the video first, I am making a tier list of the Need for Speed games that I have played, and that I haven't played, and ones I think that could be the best, but I also haven't played. So, let's get right into this here. And... Let's start with... The, the best game of all time. I'm going to start with Need for Speed Underground 2. The reason I like Need for Speed Underground 2 here the, the most is because well, this this game is pretty much an iconic e crispy game for like the last fourteen or fifteen years. No, no. Yeah, I think it's around fourteen or fifteen years. Yeah. It was, it was 2004 when this game came out, but I brought this game probably around 2007. And I played this game over and over and over again for like the past uh, 11 to 13 years. I actually stopped in 2015 because, well, it was kind of time to, to move on and I also could never finish the entire game, so that was sad, but the most important thing about Need for Speed Underground 2 is that I had a lot of fun and that's all that really matters. Which is why I'm going to put Need for Speed Underground here at the best. Because even though I couldn't actually have this game saved on Need for Speed Underground I always had fun playing with it, even though I couldn't finish that game either. Which is why I was halfway finished on Need for Speed Underground 2, but I just couldn't unlock a few more cities on that game. But it was fun to play this, these, these games over the years, and I could have asked for a better one. But I do just wish that they incorporated the old games to go on to the new game system nowadays. I mean, like the P PS3, PS4, they could have incorporated into that, or even the Xbox One, they could have incorporated into that, but whatever. I'm just happy that I play one of these games over and over and over again. These are my only two favorite ones that are the best. Now, on to the next one here. The game that I did play also, and it was 
a very good game called Need for Speed Pro Street. Pro Street. And the reason I think this game is a very good game is because, well, I happen to, I happen to use my first Xbox for the uh, first time in like uh, around 2011 or 12, possibly around there. And I start to like this game a lot more. I may or may not have finished the entire game of Need for Speed Pro Street. Probably didn't, but I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing with this game, and even though I practically couldn't find it now, because I know it's still somewhere in this house, possibly, it, pro it practically got lost over the last couple of years, I kind of like that game still and I'm hoping that game is on a PC soon so maybe I can buy it and play the bit. I'm hoping all of the Need for Speed games that are, that, that are on console get to be on PC too. Yeah, the Need for Speed Pro Street is, like, very good, in my opinion, so, yeah. Uh, you know, there was... Also a game that I practically kind of played right around 2012. I think it had to be Yeah, I think it had to be the Need for Speed Undercover game. I'll put this on average because I started playing this game when I was practically visiting somebody who was practically who is practically a uh, family member of our, of, of mine, and, uh, I was practically visiting her and her, uh, boyfriend or husband, and he has a Xbox 360, which I never played those types of games before with it. And, uh, all in all, I say that this game was pretty good for anyone else, but for me, it took a little bit of time to get to know this game. It was kind of hard for me to get to, to, uh, know the controls. And plus, I also couldn't, you know, handle the car 
as I was using the uh, controllers of an Xbox 360 on Need for Speed Undercover when I first played the vid when someone lent me the uh, controller. I think it was practically on split screen and I couldn't properly see that well anyway because I don't know I just think that split screen nowadays is just over the top and I practically couldn't even win alone so there's there's that but you know this game's good but I just didn't have the heart-to-heart -heart, uh, learning experience with Need for Speed Undercover. Now, Need for Speed World, practically the best. And I say it's the best because back back in the day, I uh, used a laptop that was actually usable for uh, a PC game like this. And Need for Speed World happened to be that one game that I happened to find. I played that game around a year ago when I found it online for some reason. And I want to check that out and see if I like it or not. And as it turns out, I did. I actually made new friends during that era. I actually win some races during that era. Some were hard, some were easy. And of course, every time, every other time I go and play Need for Speed World, I uh, got a lot of joy out of it. I had a lot of fun playing with it. And if the game still existed today, as it were, I would have made videos of it practically to, uh, practically around last year. I would have made videos of it if the game was still around. On EA, at least. But the past is the past, I guess. So there's that. And also, one more thing to add, the only sad part of, of, of me not playing this game anymore is because it was short-lived when my last laptop had a huge problem and I couldn't access my Dell laptop anymore, so that's why... Change my mind, change my mind For the last time